Hey everybody out there, it's Pastor John with your Midweek Reflection. This week we're coming to the end of our uh, WDJD series, What Did Jesus Do? And we've looked at uh, a bunch of different uh, elements of, of Jesus' life and, and what he did and seen how it connects to us uh, in our lives. And this week we fittingly end with the cross. Uh, so what did Jesus do? Jesus died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Um, and the cross is, is really, uh, of course, a core uh, emphasis of the New Testament. Um, the gospel writers spend uh, more time on Jesus' last week than any other uh, uh, period of Jesus' ministry. Um, Paul and, and he, the author of Hebrews and, uh, and Peter, you know, all of them uh, emphasize the cross of Jesus Christ as a central component of why Jesus came and what Jesus did. Uh, something happened there. Um, it wasn't, it's not just a death. It's, there's something more going on. And, and really for the last 2,000 years uh, since the cross, um, Christians have been uh, exploring the mystery of the cross. What did it mean? Why did Jesus ha have to die? Jesus says again and again in the Gospels, it is necessary um, that, that I would die, that I would be handed over um, and be killed. And why was it necessary? Why is Jesus so um, resolute in, in the necessity of his death? And why does he in, in many ways instigate it. <laughs> um, not that not that he should be blamed for it, but there were things that Jesus is did Jesus did that uh, you knew were leading uh, to the cross. Um, so why why was Jesus so firmly uh, fixed in many ways on the cross? And, and Christians have explored been exploring that for two thousand years. There's lots of different theories, and and, and I don't say that in, to diminish those theories. There uh, th there are layers of meaning. Um, so Rene Girard is, is one of the um, more contemporary uh, uh, scholars that has, has developed some theory on the cross. And he said that, that the cross is about this human social tendency towards scapegoating and violently um, blaming certain people for, for the ills of our society or for, for not having what we want. And, and that Jesus is the last scapegoat. There, there's no justification for this tendency of human beings to blame and be violent towards others uh, when we see that human society put Jesus on the cross. Um, and, and so that's just one way of interpreting the cross. Um, you know, traditionally we, we, we would talk about, um, since the Reformation, the Reformation really emphasized um, the penal substitution uh, of, of the cross, that, that Jesus was uh, paying the penalty that we deserve for our sins um, so that we didn't have to pay that penalty anymore. Um, there's more. There's more. And so um, on Sunday we're going to uh, go deeper into some of the images that Jesus associates with the cross and his death. Uh, how does Jesus himself talk about the cross and why he's dying? Um, but until then, I, I would just encourage you to be pondering what, what is the cross? Why the cross? You know, how would you answer some of these questions? Why did Jesus uh, have to die on a cross? Um, what does the cross mean for you? What is its significance in your life? Uh, those are some, some questions to ponder as you prepare for worship on Sunday. Um, and I encourage you, uh, you know, if you want to reflect a little bit on, on Facebook, on this post, um, on Facebook or on the YouTube channel or what have you, please do so. If you want to just personally email me, um, some thoughts and reflections that, that might help me to, to better address um, kind of where you are on Sunday. That would be great too. Um, as always, I look forward to worshiping with you as we live the gospel life together. And until then, may God bless you.